Hello and greetings from Uma Eye Clinic, Chennai. In this video today, we are going to discuss about the different types of refractive surgery procedures, namely LASIK or SMILE. So in any cornea based refractive surgery procedure, we alter the shape of the cornea to such a way that the light rays which are entering the eye will be focused on the retina without the use of any spectacle correction. So what we need to understand is that the cornea is a dome shaped transparent structure in front of the eye which uh, helps in the majority of the focusing of the light rays which enter the eye. So we use this to our advantage in any uh, cornea based refractive surgery procedure by altering the shape of the cornea to such a way that the light rays are now focused correctly on the retina. So the amount of uh, alteration of the shape or thickness of the cornea will have to vary from person to person. For example, someone who needs a correction of minus 5 will need a certain amount of tissue to be removed. Someone who needs a correction of minus 3 will need lesser amount of tissue to be removed. Someone who has a correction of minus 7 will need a greater amount of tissue to be removed. So before going ahead with any refractive cornea based procedure, there are always certain um, uh, tests and investigations which are necessary to ensure that you are fit for the procedure. So in any procedure, be it the older version of laser correction such as PRK or LASIK or the newest smile, the amount of tissue that is removed from the cornea will be the same. But the methodology in which we go about it will differ from procedure to procedure. In the older version known as PRK, what we used to do is the epithelium of the cornea will be scraped off and we apply the excimer laser to be applied directly on the surface of the cornea to remove the certain amount of tissue to reshape the cornea and give it the new shape. This worked pretty well but PRK uh, was usually associated with an uh, increased recovery period in which the patient used to take about uh, two weeks to uh, regain the normal vision and there was also a chance of the power coming back. Uh, now, LASIK is the most uh, popular known uh, refractive surgery procedure today. In LASIK, what we do is we make a 24 mm cut on the surface of the cornea. This is a, a partial thickness cut. Uh, so, once this cut is made, the, there is a flap which is created which will be lifted over the cornea and the XML laser will be applied on the, into the exposed bed of the cornea. And once the corneal shape is achieved, this flap will be repositioned and the patient can now see clearly within about 6 to 8 hours. So this works pretty well and is one of the most successfully done uh, refractive surgery procedures today. But LASIK had a few disadvantages. Because of the large cut of the corneal surface, patients were prone to dryness after the procedure. And also since there is a flap permanently on the eye forever, there is always a chance of flap dislocation happening due to some minor trauma. So in the latest uh, refractive uh, procedure known as SMILE, we use a more advanced laser known as the femtosecond laser. This femtosecond laser is able to delineate the amount of tissue to be removed inside the cornea without the uh, need to make an external cut. So once we uh, delineate the amount of tissue that, that is needed to be removed, a small 2 mm incision is made on the surface of the cornea to remove the tissue out and reshape the cornea. So compared to LASIK, the cut in SMILE is only 2 mm whereas in LASIK it is 24 mm. This will preserve the biomechanical strength and integrity of the cornea in SMILE. Since there is no flap, there is no chance of any flap dislocation happening anytime in the future. And also because of the very small incision, the corneal nerves are not cut and the dryness that one would have after LASIK is not seen in SMILE at all. So I hope I've given you a very basic understanding of the different refractive procedures today. If you do have any questions, please do drop them in the comment box below and I'll be happy to help you. Thank you.